right, well you know why you're here. I know why I'm here, so let's get started. The Max Pump Plus. Yeah, that's right. We were looking for a rechargeable uh, air pump solution while we're out on the water. We do have a connection for a cigarette lighter on the jet ski, but the batteries are small. So I have seen where I kind of drain the battery a little too low, make you a little nervous. Of course, we're around other boats. Uh, anybody with a boat certainly has no problem uh, blowing up stuff, but we like to be self-sufficient. We're not always around somebody with a boat. Maybe we get out a little early or we're staying out a little late, whatever it is. So we want something that we can use that we don't need to run off the jet ski. And that's going to be capable of blowing up tubes multiple times. So. If you're interested in seeing how this performs against other uh, portable, rechargeable uh, air pumps and actually a plug-in air pump, check the link up above. I did a complete test. I ran a whole test on that, so that'll be interesting. And I'll actually use a little bit of the footage for you uh, throughout this video, and it's not gonna be long. Mainly what I wanna do in this is just give you my personal feedback on what I thought about this. Obviously, the stats in the other video will speak for themselves, but that's not always everything, right? So I'm gonna take this out of the box here. So one thing I definitely like right away, and I'm just like that, is I like the color. Especially being out on the water, I like things that are bright. It's If you drop it or something, it's it's a lot easier to view if it's bright versus something black, it's gonna kind of disappear in the water, unless you're somewhere in Florida where you know it's always crystal clear or whatever, but still. So I just like that. One of the things that is nice is it does have a recessed button, but it is, <laughs> one click so if it's in a bag it can easily be kicked on and off that's one thing that i thought was better about the other two that i had one of them it needed a double click so a lot harder to get it to push on its own and the other one actually has a flap that goes right over the power button so unless you lift up the flap and then press it there's no way anything's going to happen so that's one little uh drawback to this one that despite its capabilities, I thought wasn't really that great. And I'll just show you that right now. You can see how flush that is. One other thing I'll say is this little charging port. Now, it's rated to like, uh, maybe it says it on here. No, I think it was rated to like IP6 or something. Not fully waterproof, but like kind of water resistant a little bit, teeny bit. And I think some of it was due to like this. But if you see here, this flap is really cheap. So it's, it, it was stuck in there when I first got it, but it almost doesn't go back fully anymore. And one drawback along with that little uh, cover here is the actual charger itself. It's not a USB-C, it's just a micro USB. So everybody has these, of course, they're probably laying all over your house. But nowadays, if you have a charger with you in your backup battery, it's probably going to be a USB-C and not this. So you always have to make sure you have one of those cords on hand. Now there is two little holes here, so you can strap like a little, a little uh, string through it and have it on like a rope or something, you know, which isn't a bad idea. Uh, a little easier to grab at or something like that. Um, but other than that, it's very easy to use. It did come with all these accessories. This looks crazy, but it's really just all the different pieces, you know, put together. And somehow I put them all together perfectly the first time, which was very weird. But I, I like it. It pretty much has every attachment you, you would need. And obviously this is to pump up and this is to deflate. And that's pretty much it. Ready, set, let's pump. <laughs> I'd say that's pretty, uh, pretty blown up right there. So I really like it. I think this held up very well. Now it wasn't the absolute best in the test, but it did pass the test. Um, and my test may not be what you actually need it for. So I'd suggest you check it out. All the stats are up there on the other video. Um, but of course I will put some of those up right now. So you can at least see what this is capable of. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was helpful to you. If it was, give it a like, share this video, subscribe down below, and check me out on Instagram. That's right, s.k underscore lifestyle. That's where I'm at. A lot of the behind the scenes pictures, really short videos going up on there and stuff. More content from SK Lifestyle. So I appreciate all your time, your support, and I'll see you next time.